welcome back to my channel and welcome to a cleaning video. It has been so long since I've done a dedicated cleaning video, mainly because I've lost all motivation for filming them. I filmed quite a lot last year and I think I got a bit cleaning videoed out. But update, we do actually have a cleaner now. She's been coming for the last few weeks and she does one or two hours a week. If you can hear noise, we're having our bathroom renovated. I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, our cleaner's been coming like every week for the past few weeks, doing one or two hours, but she's on holiday this week. And we're also on our summer holidays from school. So Joe and I are both teachers, that's my husband, and we're home, the kids are home, although they're out at the moment, they're at soft play. Joe's taking them out. So I'm gonna do the cleaning because we're just a mess. We're a big old mess. And I'm gonna show you and expose my messy home to you. It is also really hard because we are renovating the bathroom like a full, everything's been ripped out, everything like back to the bare walls. It's just so messy. <laughs> it's just stuff everywhere. So there's certain rooms that I can't do. Renovating one room creates a house of chaos. I don't know if anybody else finds that, but no more excuses. We're getting it done. I've made a list. So I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by the house at the moment, if you can't tell. So I've made a list and I'm gonna work. Hang on, my dog's scratching at the door. Really breezy. So I've made a list. I'm going to work down the list in order. I've kind of done it in order of priority of the things that will make me feel better. Here's the list. I'll just show it to you rather than me reading it out. I don't know if you can see. It's also a super rainy day today. So we're going to work through this list, see how much I get done. Let's go. <laughs> This feels so strange doing a voiceover for a cleaning video because it's been so long since I've done a cleaning video but actually I've really enjoyed doing this one, it feels good to be back doing it. I always like to start a cleaning day with putting a load of laundry on and getting that ticking over and then making the beds. I just feel like when the beds are made everything else just feels put together and you can just see what the room should look like at the very least. This playroom has been very well played with this summer holidays. As you can see, there are just toys everywhere and this is just daily. I do actually tidy this every day before I go to bed or in the evening and then by about nine o'clock in the morning, it looks like this again. So first thing I need to do is just tidy the toys away. And the little bits, they just get everywhere. She's really into Barbies at the moment, Sophia is, that's my eldest. And there's like little shoes and little bits everywhere. Anyway, then what I like to do in here is to clean the windowsills first. We usually get quite a lot of flies on the windowsills. It's not actually too bad at the moment, but yeah, we get a lot of flies in the summer. And I just like to do it with furniture polish. I know it's probably not necessarily the right way to use it but I just find it brings it up really nicely so I hoover it first and then I just go around and do this with all of the surfaces in this room. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive can break me yeah. Here's to the good days 
now on to hoovering and we have a dirt devil now we got one earlier this year it's a cordless hoover it's not our main hoover but it's, it's like a cross between a bigger hoover and a handheld hoover but it's just really good for quickly going around everywhere and especially rooms like this where there's quite a lot of furniture in it and it's quite hard to get around everything it makes it so much easier and it has different attachments and you can take the long tube bit off and have it as a handheld hoover so uh, it's really good it's really really practical and it gets a lot of use I would definitely recommend anyway I'm just hoovering up in here really this room needs a bit of a deep clean I haven't done like a deep deep clean in a while and it does get a lot of use but I think in September I'm going to do some deep cleans of everywhere I like to do deep cleans and proper spring cleans when the seasons change I don't know there's just something about when the seasons change especially in those like what I would call like the interim seasons I don't know I think of spring and autumn as like the, the interim seasons even though they're the same length as winter and summer I don't know that's just how my brain works but when the seasons change from like winter to spring and then from summer to autumn I just like to give everywhere a really deep clean so yeah look out for those videos in September I know it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye you start to get dressed and then Now on to the living room and it wasn't too bad really, just picking up a few things and sorting the blankets out. I actually, the day before I filmed this video, I actually cleaned and washed all of the sofa cushions or at least the ones that would come off and then I scrubbed down the other parts of the sofa so at least the sofa was nice and clean. But again I follow my usual method of dusting everywhere, wiping down the mirrors, wiping down the surfaces and then cleaning everywhere. I just like to do it this way. I don't know why I just prefer to do the dusting first and then the hoovering. I think in my head I'm like the dust will land on the floor and from the from the and whatever else I'm dusting and then it will hoover up. I don't know that's just you're getting a real insight to how my brain works today. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So baby, bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we were a lot of small sticky hand marks on the television so I decided to use window cleaner to clean them off but rather than spray it directly onto the TV I sprayed it onto this window cleaning cloth and that did the trick actually it really got them up nicely I also use window cleaner on mirrors as well and I always find that comes up really nicely and streak free as well. We watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we have Stay. 
Okay, so the downstairs toilet, a bit of a tricky room for filming actually because it's quite small but I didn't show you but I'm using the flash with bleach. I absolutely love flash with bleach. I just feel like the bleach gives it that really clinical clean smell. I know not everybody likes that but I do. It's not like clean or anything in, in the sense of the environment but I just I just find in bathrooms I like to know that everything's been killed so anyway I am cleaning the sink first and then onto the toilet and for the toilet when I get to the bowl I'm just using like a bog standard toilet bleach nothing fancy I think it was Morrison's again bleach does the job I just prefer it down the toilet than anything else So I used to clean this towel rail with some aluminium, silver, whatever cloths. But I thought, you know, I bet, I bet the window cleaner would do the job here as well, and it did. Came up really nicely, came up nice and shiny, and was nice and easy to do. So because I wasn't doing the rest of the kitchen floor, I decided to clean the bathroom floor or the toilet floor with these flash speed mops. I absolutely love them and I tend to use those more daily when I just want to do a quick clean rather than like a big full mop. So this bathroom was in a bit of a state, or should I say the ensuite was in a bit of a state because we've all been using it. It's really tiny, it's very difficult to film in here, it's also very old. So the girls have been having their baths in this old baby bath and they call it the boat bath. It's really funny, Sophia barely fits in it but she finds it hilarious and then when we want to do their hair we just pour everything up, pour the water over with a jug and sometimes they have a shower actually if they're in the mood but they don't really like showers unless one of us goes in with them. So when it's just them on their own they prefer to have a boat bath but it's been a bit of a squash and a squeeze using this ensuite but hopefully it won't be for too much longer our, our main bathroom is on the way to being finished there's still a little bit to do but yes yeah, it's, it's getting there now anyway that what I was using there was the Silit Ban bathroom cleaner thing I just used that on the bits where the lime scales a bit stronger and then on the floor I used the flash with bleach again when I say floor I mean the shower I'm filming this late at night so my brain's gone a bit a bit sloppy and mushy at the moment. I can't get my words out. It was really difficult filming cleaning this toilet but I just did the same process as I do before so bleach the inside of it, let that sit for quite a while and then use flash with bleach on the top of it and yeah I just find that the flash just brings it up so nicely. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign For more, think that I'm addicted to this. Can't resist to be a little risky and go. 
for it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more talking to you talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say, you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt that I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign just quickly tidy away my cleaning things and then get the girls some lunch and get ready because it's actually not anniversary today and we're going out this afternoon so I, I don't want to be going out looking like this. But I'm pleased with what I managed to get done. I would have liked to have more time but as usual it always takes longer than I think and I think when it's your house and you're cleaning you always see bits that you think I'll just do that as well, I'll just do that as well. So you are just going to have to subscribe and maybe I'll do a part two. So I've still got the bedrooms, the, this kitchen dining area to do and then that's it but this will take a while and the bedrooms will probably take a while so subscribe for part two of the cleaning video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>